Hey everyone. This week I wanted to talk about uh, transformation for free. <laughs> so I think oftentimes we get really caught up in big scale programs, uh, you know, big software implementations, large changes to process, um, you know, big meaty kind of change. And I feel like a lot of what's talked about in digital transformation is this entire overhaul of our organization. We even, even the word transformation, you know, you'll hear a lot of people talking about this is not just incremental small change, this is a complete overhaul of your organization. And whilst that is all true, um, that can also sometimes feel like then we have to spend a lot of money, it's a big investment, we need to get a lot of people on side, this is going to be a big thing that we're doing. And I'm here today to tell you that that's not necessarily the case. So I wanted to share with you something that you can start doing today that is going to enhance all of those transformation efforts, whether you are just starting out or whether you are partway through your transformation um, or whether you're a long way through it. And it's something that you can do for free. You can start today. You can start now. It does not take a lot of time investment. It does not take a lot of, it doesn't take any monetary investment. It simply takes some investment of your energy and your time um, and maybe going out and finding a team that's that's prepared to work with you on this. So it's a lot more about what we can actually do from ourselves and our own team rather than necessarily going out and engaging somebody to do a piece of work for us or uh, going out and starting to buy a whole new big system or, or those sorts of things. And what I wanted to talk about today was visibility. So visibility is a core piece of all of the work that I teach. So when we're on retreats, if we're doing coaching sessions with groups, uh, whatever it is, visibility is a big, big part of this work. If we can't see what it is that's going on, then how can we possibly hope to change it? Visibility is the first thing that we can do any, no matter where we are in terms of our program, in terms of our digital literacy, in terms of all of that stuff that's going on, we can all work towards building visibility day by day, moment by moment. And I wanted to share with you today this concept of an information radiator and an information fridge, which is something that my dear friend Nick Thorpe shared with me a long time ago. And it stuck with me because it was such a powerful little metaphor. Uh, and whenever I go into business now, it's one of those those little stories that I tell because I think it really helps land the point. So the idea of um, visual display of information, I think, you know, we look at agile ways of working, we look at the post-it notes on walls, you know, you get any consultant in these days, there's beautiful rainbows of post-it notes all over our boardroom walls, right? So we know that visibility is a thing. We know that we're trying to show stuff. Uh, and, this, this concept that Nick taught me, which I'm eternally grateful for, was, was really about what are we trying to do in terms of generating insight and unearthing the information that we need to run our business. Um, we, we sort of fashioned ourselves as, as, I guess, archaeologists at one point when we were working together, and it was this digging through of the information that's permeating through our organization. How do we lift that to the surface? How do we sort of dig through and discover these amazing things and, and put together the the skeleton and the bones in a way that we can make sense of it rather than hiding what's going on within the mass of the day-to-day. -day. And so the concept of fridges and radiators is really simple. To get what you need out of a fridge, when you walk up to it, all you see is a big square box and the doors are closed. You can't see into the fridge, except in those really fancy ones. Um, we don't have those in Glenorchy yet. But Traditionally, your fridge has a closed front door. To get what you need out of the fridge, you have to open the door so that you can see what's inside and you can get what you need and take it out. But if you're standing looking at a fridge with a closed door, you don't necessarily know what's inside. So that's the concept of a fridge. And a lot of the reporting that we do, a lot of the way that we hold information in our organizations today is locked away in these fridges. Think about an email. I have to open that email up to actually see what's in it. It might be searchable, uh, you know, but often we attach files to emails. Again, we've got to go into that file and open it up to be able to see what it is that we want. That information is not readily available. It's not easily visible. I have to start to dig to get that info. And then even when I do, there's questions about is it the right document version? 
Um, you know, is it the latest? Are we working on something else? Has somebody got an offline copy somewhere that we're working on that I don't know about? So a lot of that information that we hold today in our organizations is stored away in these fridges. Another really great example is uh, the way that we document IT systems. You know, we might have as-built documents in construction. We have these sort of as-built manuals within IT and software programs. And you have to go to the user manual to work through stuff uh, compared to other ways of being able to bring that information to the surface. So fridges are really, 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 really common in our organizations. And what we want to do is transform them into radiators. So you think about a radiator, its job is to emit heat to give you warmth. And the radiator does that simply by existing. As you walk past, you pick up what you need from it almost without even thinking about it. And so this idea of moving towards information radiators has been a really, really powerful tool uh, in my own practice. And oftentimes it's a case of working through what can we what can we pull out of all of those fridges? How do we display that in a different way? You know, I, I laugh now because I sort of say to my clients, when I was growing up and when I was, was young in this, we used to start with post-it notes on a wall. I'm old school, I love paper. That, that's probably the architect in me, the tactile, um, but there was something about post-it notes on walls and that physical space and the feeling of it and the three-dimensionality. Uh, now, there's been a few things that have happened in business in the last couple of years that have changed that dynamic, but we still have online whiteboards. We still have that ability to build pictures in much the same way as we did when we were in physical office spaces. And for some of us, that luxury is still available, which is awesome. Um, but even without the whole COVID thing, we're working with remote teams more and more. You know, that idea of geographically disparate offices is not uncommon. So what we want to do is start to look at what is the information that we need today to run our business? And then how do we start to build that into pictures, into visible visual management tools so that that information starts to radiate off the wall at us. Um, really simple example, when we start to look at your Kanban boards of work in progress from to do, doing, done, that idea of backlog, work in progress, work that's finished and, and reviewing that on a regular basis. Just visually putting that on a wall so that you can start to see, well, hey, we've only got a couple of cards in progress and there's a whole bunch of stuff on the backlog. Does that feel manageable? Maybe we've got 15 cards in progress, two on the backlog and nothing in done. Well, does that feel manageable? Is visually you're able to see very, very quickly whether and how that work is distributed. What's the flow look like? You're able to start to infer these insights from the way that the information is displayed. Now that's very different to opening up a weekly or even a daily email with a status update about where everything's at. That dynamic is entirely different. And so I wanted to share that with you today because this is one of the things that we can do today, right now, no matter where we are in our transformation programs, that can help us to really evolve our understanding, our collaboration with our team members. It starts to set frameworks in which we can work so that we don't have to be in meetings to do work because we've architected these visual tools that help us know at any point in time where we're up to, what's going on, as we walk past it, as we browse through the online whiteboard, we're able to discern that information without worrying about what version are we up to, or do we have the right file, or is that stored in another online repository? So you wanna to start to move from information fridges to information radiators. And that, my friends, is one of the free tools that you can start to use right now. The transformation doesn't have to be big and expensive and hard. It can be simple stuff, it can be cheap stuff, it can be zero code work that helps to encourage the way that your team are collaborating, the way that you're working together, how you're sharing information with stakeholders. Visibility is huge. So please go out and try it. I would love to hear examples of your own fridges and radiators maybe that you've got in play. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to collect pictures of visual tools. Um, through my clients over the years, I've taken lots and lots of photos and we put those all into scrapbooks and manuals and 
just to have those ideas around what those visual tools look like. And sometimes it can be overwhelming because there's a whole plethora of ways that we could do this. But it's just a case of seeing those examples. So please, please, please hit me up with a comment below. Share some of your photos with your colleagues and your friends that maybe you've used to solve a particular problem or way that you've visualized information. And let's start that conversation about how you're using super, super low tech free stuff to start to drive your transformation. Thanks so much for your time. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you again next week.